This is a GoHamRadio.com exclusive. Hello, family. This is GoHam Radio, and we're sitting down with an independent artist by way of San Diego. An exclusive interview here with the one and only Nia Mack. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hey, I'm Miss Fancy Pants, and we are here getting uh, a little bit more in depth with Nia Mack. She's got an album out, her latest album, Insomnia. Insomnia, get it, Nia, is out. Uh, it's on all streaming platforms, so make sure you go check it out. We're going to be playing that for you guys a little bit later, but before we get to that, we want to be able to get a little bit more in-depth with Nia, what it took to get to this album, the heartache, the struggles, the ups, the downs, the positives, the negatives, everything in between, and uh, what we got in store for her coming up in 2022. We're kind of almost halfway through it, so we're going to see what she's been doing, what she's got on her plate for today, and then what's going on in the future. So. First and foremost, welcome. welcome. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. So tell me, Insomnia, you're pretty creative with these uh, these album names. She said California, right? California, get it? California. Insomnia, all right. Um, is there a third one in there I'm missing? Yeah, we had uh, we had the purpose, and that, oh, the purpose. And that means Nia. Nia the, means uh, purpose. Nia. If uh, you guys celebrate Kwanzaa, you know it is a day of Kwanzaa. I always tag her and go, Nia at the Purpose, and play a little song from there. So just get to know Nia Mack. She's here in the building. We're here at Fancy Life Studios. Shout out to Fancy Life Studios. All of your private and exclusive needs, rental facilities, make sure you check them out. Um, now, how many tracks are on this one? It's a total, technically it's a total of 18, but it's really 14 because there's four skits. Okay, so 18 tracks, four of them are skits. What is the theme behind Insomnia? Man, it's, it's so many levels to Insomnia. It's pretty much like, uh, I mean, the standard definition of Insomnia of, you know, not being able to sleep. And while I've been making this album, my sleeping pattern been really messed up. So that's one of the things that go into it. Of course, also to play on words with my name. So it just kind of all made sense. Mm -hmm. And um, that's pretty much like, it really is just more to, you know, when you're not sleeping, you're turned up. Or me personally, I'm turned up when I'm not sleeping. So that's really why the album is so hype. Most of it, not all of it, but most of it. Hype, hype, hype. So what uh, were you doing at this stage in your life when you were creating the songs for this album? You were partying? Were you touring? What was going on behind the scenes to create all this content? Uh, a lot of the album was made uh, during the pandemic. A little bit of it was a little bit before it, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I was just trying to, I was already switching gears from the last album I did from The Purpose. So it was pretty much like, like like a lot like studio 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 i mean i'm in the studio like every week like two three times a week like the same hours. studio or different yeah yeah studios? i go I, i'll go over there with jay watt and uh Shout so out to jay watt. oh god so i just was over there with him and um just really pressing it because this is actually the first album i did where i did it all at one studio and okay. i didn't have to mix and match and do all that kind of stuff so um it was just kind of it was kind of turned up it was it was a crazy it was a crazy part of my life but it was good though okay now how many features do you have on this album um i strategically placed uh three features okay and i did that because i didn't need or not only need but didn't want to put too many people on it to cover up what I was trying to do. A lot of times we cover up, you know, artists like so many features. I think it's good to have features. Don't, you know, don't get it fucked up. But I didn't want too many features on it because I really wanted what I had to say. I needed it to be presented in a correct mm -hmm. manner. So that's why I did it strategically. And the three features I have are um, I have Marty McFly, mm -hmm. bro. Shout out to him. I got Adonis, the hottest bro. Shout out to him. And then I got my little brother, actually my blood brother, Lil Booth, and uh, he's been doing, a, he's been, he's came a long way. He's really dope. So I put him on there, and those are the three. That's it. Okay. All right. Well, uh, if you haven't tapped in, make sure you go to whichever streaming platform that you get your music from. Check out Insomnia with Nia Mack and tap into all 14 songs, four skits. What do the skits talk about? Do they intertwine within each other, or are they each their own entity? So that's that's the cool part about it. So well, I'm going to be, look, since it's you, I'm going to be 100. Like, okay. Well, don't lie to so me. Because, no, because people, it's, it's so, so much of a, like, especially like the minority communities, it's such a stigma behind like therapy and getting help like when we need help mm -hmm. so I've actually been in therapy myself like this is actually my second time in therapy and um, 
the the album actually is me talking to myself whether you know it or not when you listen to the album it's me talking to me and i'm acting as a therapist to myself while i'm literally in therapy so i'm using a lot of the questions that my therapist asked me or you know when we talk mm -hmm. on a weekly basis so it was just it's like it might seem like a just this turned up album or i'm being funny but it's really like what's going on in my life too you know mm -hmm. so it's just, it's just uh, definitely like a touch on mental health and how important it is now going through covid and still being creative and trying to travel and create content and then just dealing with you know some of the negative things that came with covid there were some deaths that occurred and uh just a lot of um struggle that went along with that how and you say you're in therapy and for the second time how has just surviving that process um affect you mentally spiritually physically I mean, it, it's been tough, you know. Uh, I'm I'm a tough person. Like the people that know me personally, they know like I'm I'm pretty tough. I've been through a lot of different things. So, I mean, as far as like the whole COVID situation, you know, we just try to keep to ourselves, stay healthy and stuff like that. But it, that's really what had me in the studio more, you know. Mm -hmm. And even I'm not gonna lie, even in the studio, and it might sometimes be them sessions where it's eight ten people inside the, <laughs> i'm outside in the kitchen area getting fresh air because i don't want to get sick like you know mm. you know we didn't know like all the ins and outs but you know when it came to COVID, but i'm out there everybody writing and smoking and smoking and turning up and I, we all in this confined area i'm like yo i'm out here getting fresh air doing my thing because but I still want to come in there and work. So mm -hmm. it was just all about staying focused because, you know, when you get that much time on your hands, you know, you can either do this or that with it. You know, you can make a positive thing out of it or a negative thing. So I just was working on my music the most, mm -hmm. you know, for the most part. You know what I mean? Did you ever fall victim of COVID? I did. Oh, I did. how many times? Uh, once. Okay. Once. I mean, some people like they get yeah. it. once. It's like biting your tongue. You get it once, like you keep getting it. Like, yeah. so now it was crazy because it's like, all the like hype behind COVID, it was like when I got it, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. But like, <laughs> like, and I know, you know, like no disrespect to you know, people yeah. that, but it was just like, yo, they said, yeah. but I knew I had it because of who I was around and I knew uh. that she had it. So I was like, dang, you know, but uh, luckily I didn't get too sick or nothing. Like, so I was kind of cool. Like it wasn't like a bad one for me, but. Did you lose a uh, sense of taste and smell? I and did for one day. For one day, I did. Yeah, okay. I did. Okay. That, that had been kind of crazy, right? It was super weird. I was like, this is, I knew, I already knew. And then when that happened, because I had made some soup, I used actually one of my mother's recipes. I called my brother in Florida and asked, you know, asked his wife for my mother's recipe for this soup or whatever. And uh, um, I couldn't taste it. I made it. I cooked it all damn day. And then, and then when I ate it, I couldn't taste the shit. And I was like, damn. I was like. All right, I got COVID. My uh, results hadn't came in yet, but had already, I had already went in for it. Uh, so, yeah, I found out I had it. I was like, damn. But that was There's shit. no way I can't taste this. That, yeah, that was, it was a minute ago. That was uh, shit. Not this last. So, the last. So, not this past December, but the December before that. So, like 2020. Yeah, tw 2020. 2020. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, it's still going around. You know, it. Uh, kids are still getting tested for it before they go to school and it's yeah. all a preventative so it's just being safe out there how do you maneuver now with it still being you know a variant it's not something that it died you know it didn't completely is right. not, you know so you still have to operate maneuver the same way do you yeah, for do sure. you change your habits like what's what's different now in your movements um i'm at home a lot more you know like mm -hmm. um traveling has become a little bit weird because we had to slow down and everybody that knows me knows that I'll be gone. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm never here, but, um, I just kind of like still kind of keep to myself, you know, like try to be transparent with the people I deal with and like, that's pretty much it. But I you're not really going to catch me outside or like, even if I'm busting like a move, like or I'm at a restaurant or something like, please, man, please have that straw. Like, I don't care where I'm at. I need my straw. I don't want to drink off your glass. Mm -hmm. Just like certain little things. Like if I can have plastic, you know, utensils as opposed to, you know, your traditional utensils, like I prefer those just because, you know, we're all human and we make mm -hmm. mistakes and, and germs are everywhere, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I would hate to catch it again. Even though it wasn't horrible, I still don't want it, though. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you do when you're more stationary? So you're more stationary now. So what do you do in your free time outside of music and work have you picked up some new hobbies or some interests or? yo i've been low-key gaming like i've been i've been I've like been get, like the, video games yeah yeah, okay. yeah i've been on the game i just i've been playing video games i usually don't but i've been playing video games um i'm working on a few things i mean i do other things besides music you know what i'm saying like 
for the most part, I'm just always focused on just trying to pretty much do better than I did yesterday. So, like, I do own some property. Like, I work with that, you mm-hmm. know. Um, I got a, a business I'm working on. I ain't going to say too much about it, but mm-hmm. the business I got going, like, so I, I'm – I wouldn't say I'm spread thin, but I've got all different types of things I got going on mm-hmm. other than music. But, I, you know, music is my passion and my love, so I, it's always on the forefront. What do you plan on doing for the rest of the year? Are you going to f- focus solely on the music? Because you have a new album out, right? So, of course, there's a marketing promo, press run, all these things that come from that. You know, it entails like a year and, you know, some change as long as you really want to do it, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Um, are you going to be doing any other endeavors as well as pushing this music? Yeah. Like um, specifically that you're going to be focusing on? The- yeah. For the, uh, so we're coming to, shoot, where, are we in June? No, we're in May. May. Uh, mm-hmm. So uh, for the second half of the year, I'll be back on tour and it's going to be more of like an overseas tour. Okay. So um, I forget all the places, but you know, I'm going You were back. already overseas. Yeah. I, I, before, um, I'm going to go back to like Paris. Um, I think we might be going to Rome. I forget the dates and, like, all that stuff, but um, just pretty much doing some overseas. I'll still be doing some stuff in the States, but pushing this album, I'll be doing a new EP, so uh, Mm -hmm. pushing that EP, too. Just putting out this good music and just keep getting my catalog longer, you know, more extensive so people could really hear what I have to say, you know, and uh, more videos, you know, more shows, just kind of getting out there a little bit more and, you know, showing people what I've been working on. Who books you out of town? Uh, CS does uh, Jay Sincere He books me Shout out to my big bro Okay He books you So you know If artists are looking To get booked out of town They can tap in with him Right and Yeah they for can... sure Yeah yeah. If you want right. to get to me Talk to him He's a hard man To get in contact with But you know mm-hmm. If the bag right I was like Money talks you know, And bullshit if the, if the walks, bag so, right, uh, If the bag right He'll tap in Right Okay cool Now uh, what's the team That you're working with Are you just going out To these places solo Are you bringing a team With you um, You know who, Who's coming Who's staying It's still MF The world you feel me uh i'm never gonna switch up man loyalty is everything so i'm still with the same team mf you know shout out to jay sincere mike berry adonis is up so um and and marty too marty marty be doing his own thing but that's pretty much the squad you know and that's what we've been doing we've been jay want now too right jay for this album no jay no and he did my last album too but i had to switch it from another studio it was a you know long drawn out thing but um (laughs) Uh, JY, yeah, that's my guy too, you know. But I'm still, you know, I'm always open to work with other engineers. I just mm-hmm. really love what JY brings to the table. It's consistent mm-hmm. and it's really good. He has me sounding like I'm supposed to. Nice, nice. Who are some other artists in the city or not in the city that you are looking to work with? I mean, if you're working out of town, then who are some artists out of town? Hmm. Since we know who you've been working with in the city. I'd be open, like, to work with pretty much anybody, like, Mm. if they make good music, like, if I'm, like, a fan of them. Like, I wouldn't say anybody, like, I have my eyes on, like, specifically, but I'm always, like, open to working with other artists. Have you thought about um, working with any other genres? For sure. That's why I've been branching out to, um, like, Mm R&B. I still want to, like, I'm actually, like, on a low. Nobody knows. Like, I grew up, like, I like, like, rock and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm always open to doing different type of music. You know, actually, I will tell you who. And I should have got this feature four years ago when I tried to get the feature, but I dropped the ball. That's my fault. But uh, Rico Nasty, she's super dope. She gets into like rock, like punk type music. She's super hard, and if I get an opportunity to work with her, I'd love to do that. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? She's trying to make the shout out. But that's dope to have like a hip hop, rap, rock, you know. Um, it's almost like a kid rock, right? Like kid rock's got his lyricism, but he's got like a drummer and, you know, the guitar and it makes it really intense. And Lil Wayne did that crossover too and did kind of a rock crossover. So it, it is, um, it's the, the upbeat tempo and, and the aggression that just makes it go really hand in hand. So I definitely would be looking right. forward to seeing some Nia Mac, you know, and a little bit of rock and all of that I'm open to it you know one of the things uh, when I was 10 I had my dad RIP he uh I asked him because I always wanted to play a guitar so he bought me a guitar but I just got discouraged when I went into the um to the guitar classes and stuff Mm -hmm. but it's one of the goals I have right now to learn how to play the guitar and use it to do what I'm working on well in these uh moments of being still it's a time to pick up learning the guitar and now we have a New album by Nia Mac. For sure. Insomnia. Check it out. All right. The acoustic version. 
Ding, 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 ding. Come on, I promise you, if I, they get me. If I learned how to play this guitar, it's over for it. It's already over for y'all, but if <laughs> I learn how to play the guitar, it's bad for you guys. Just turn around, just go, go back, just. Huh. Awesome, oh, oh. awesome. Now, what have been some of the struggles that you've uh, incurred just getting this album out? Have there been any? Uh, shit, it's always, it's always some. Um, keeping motivation, you know what I mean. Um, I think that would be a kind of a struggle for myself, just motivating myself, just with all the hardships and things that you go through on a daily basis through life. So, um, just get, you know, me just, it sounds easy sometimes, like, I'll just go to the studio, but sometimes it's like, dang, I got another studio session. I was just there yesterday. Mm -hmm. But just like going back to the studio, um, just sticking with it, you know, I might have to go back and remix a song three, four, five, six times to get it right, like mm -hmm. how I want it to sound. Like, I don't like that one part. I got to fix it. Or mm -hmm. I don't like that ad lib. I need to go back in. Like, I'm really particular about my shit. So I want it to sound a certain type of way, like I'm a perfectionist. And even after I do all that, I still feel like it's not perfect, <laughs> you know? You just got to push it out then at that so point. So that's like one of the main things. And then just trying to figure out of how to press it and push it once I get it done, not mm -hmm. doing the same things I did for the last one, figuring out a way to do better than when I dropped the last mm -hmm. album. So I would say those are like um, some things I, I've struggled with. Who's uh, part of your support system to keep you motivated and out of your head sometimes right. or just, you know, keep you focused on, on the objective? I've got some really good family mm -hmm. and I've got some really good friends I'm grateful for because everybody mm -hmm. can't say that. Mm -hmm. So I would say they're my support system, especially my grandmother, man. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandmother, mama, mm -hmm. she is one of my biggest supporters. It's funny because she's old as hell. She's about to be 85. And she said, if she see this, she gonna talk some shit. But when uh, I called her the other day and, uh, no, I'm sorry, she called me, she said, What's up, Nia Mac? I said, you're joking. I couldn't. I was like, you got to be kidding me. You did not just call me that. So um, Granny just, I, got good, I got good there. family. I got good <laughs> friends, man, and God. You know, yeah. that's my support system. Uh, do you take walks? I should take more. Okay, take more. What are some things that you would like to do new in 2023, next year? Uh, 2023, my business that I mentioned earlier, I didn't really go into detail, but that should be taken off um, mm -hmm. in the beginning of 2023. I have to wait for that. And um, just more touring, more just more pressing, you know. Um, if I go hard, like I know I can for the next few months, I just, I mean, don't let up at all. I know that I'm going to see a big difference in all the things I've been working on. So just uh, those are some of the main things. Uh, actually, acquiring more property, mm -hmm. uh, you know, things like that just focusing on what's important you know what i mean mm -hmm. like and just maintaining those good loyal relationships right <laughs> for sure uh what are some of your favorite tracks off of this album do you have i mean I they want to say all of them right but do you no, have like no, maybe I, would, I wouldn't even say all of them i wouldn't okay. say all of them um I, I i knew you was gonna ask me that so i was thinking about it before i came <laughs> um i like i really really like safe my song safe something about that song just does something to me like it's i see people it, when i've played it and you know i have random people in the studio and we'll play it and and it bring people to tears like it's not even like a sad it's not a sad song or at all but it just like people be like especially at the end it's just like you heard everything i had to say then you heard the end just the way that jy mixed it it's like yo like you can feel me and that to me that's what music is anyway like for me to be able to touch you without even being in the same room as you, you know what I mean? That's magic. Mm -hmm. So Safe is one of my favorite ones. I love 1212, and 1212 is actually uh, my birthday, December 12th. Mm -hmm. And we actually did 1212 on my birthday, um, not this past year, but the year, so 2020. We was all in there on 1212, and we did. I love 1212. Shikari, Shikari's Turned Up. It's, it's a good song, it's lit. Everybody liked that song. But I would say if I had to pick my favorite song, it would be Safe. <laughs> Okay. Safe. safe. Now, do you have a music video planned for that one? If it's not already out, do you have any music videos out? You you just said that you've done some. Yeah. Um. What do I have? I think I have three out. Mm -hmm. I did the one I did down in Tulum. Another video that I was coming out with, but 
you know how stuff goes and mm -hmm. it didn't get to me in time or whatever so i'm working actually right now i plan on shooting shikari okay. i plan on doing shikari and 1212 so i want to just uh get with ad and get with marty and get 1212 out because I, I mean that song is hard okay. it's, a, it's a really every time i play it for anybody it's it's kind of dope where it's like for people that are older they like it and people that are younger they like it too okay so make sure you tap in of all genre of all generations into the song uh, and you said who is featured on it that's uh, adonis and uh marty oh so they're both featured so two out of the three are on yeah on one that's why every all the songs is just me because i don't need nobody else just me but i picked them because them is my bros like everybody under the threes are my bros but the album man i'm very proud of it okay i'm glad i'm glad that you're proud of this one proud of all of them i'm excited to for sure. have you guys tap into this one i've been listening to it i would have to say this is probably the best album out yet but that just goes to show that there's growth right you learn with everyone and you would think that or you would assume that your latest is your greatest right so definitely the latest greatest by nia mac is insomnia tap into it on every streaming platform uh now i want you to tell us um do you have any upcoming shows that we can catch you at I feel like I got something going on. Well, where can they tap into you then so that they can follow everything that's going on with you? you they have can find media? me like, well, the social media that I use the most is um, Instagram. So it's okay. Nia Mac underscore. So N I A M A C K underscore because that lady just won't give up her username. But <laughs> she mentions that every time we do an interview. Because <laughs> it's like, but that's like, I got to figure out how to do it. You like, have to trademark but, your name. And, I, and then I, I, I can I press it. We talked about it I last time, time, and that just shows how much I've been slacking. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah so uh nia mac <laughs> underscore n-i-a-m-a-c-k that's where you get me on instagram pretty much i don't i'll I be on facebook and stuff but you know whatever and i don't really really use twitter like that but i'll be on there now if they want to book you for a show how do they book you do they tap into like your contact your email the bio sincere like who, who, who do they who i've do they got it i think i got my contact on my instagram page okay. but as well they could tap in with je because he'll be better at it because he'll be able to make it all make sense because i'd be mm -hmm. all over the place doing a thousand million things at a time so is you know, his email or whatever in your bio? Uh, or, or we could probably make it in your bio? He's, he's, you, he's not hard to find. He's not hard to find on there. Jay, you sincere. You're going to yeah, find You'll be able to find him, find him on there. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, make sure you're tapping in with Nia Mac and Somnia on all streaming platforms. I'm Miss Fancy Pants. We're here with an exclusive interview. Fancy Life Studios. Shout out to Fancy Life Studios. Hello. Go Ham Radio hey. in the building. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> This has been a GoHamRadio.com exclusive.